I am John Batham. This is Trailers from Hell. We're talking about Fistful of Dollars, the movie that made Clint Eastwood a star and established Sergio Leone as one of the major directors in the filmmaking world. <laughs> When Sergio Leone took off to make this film, he wanted to reinvent the Western because the Westerns of the 50s and early 60s had gotten so tired and so cliched that in America, the studios didn't want to make them anymore. And in Italy, they were still popular, but even the audiences there had started to laugh and, uh, and make fun of the Westerns. So what Leone did was to make an entire Italian version of the Western to put the Italian mentality into the Western context. And he did this with a, a very operatic approach, operatic to everything, including the Morricone music, which is soaring in, in some of these grim, dry, horrible places, but it makes them look much grander than they are. And, and of course, one of his great trademarks is those close-ups that go on forever in tight on people. I mean, he got to an extreme in Once Upon a Time in the West where you're hanging on Jason Robards and Charlie Bronson for seems like 30 minutes, but these weren't just the kind of close-ups we do in America, which are just kind of like reaction shots. This is like a whole novel inside the close-up. So this was the, the technique that he was bringing to it. Now, Clint Eastwood wasn't the first choice. I think Henry Fonda was. And that was followed by Charlie Bronson. And, and then the guy who played Hercules, Steve Reeves. So then there were another and another and another. I, I, think, I think Eastwood was like number 11 in choices. Everybody else said, I hate this character. This is such a nasty character. He's mean and horrible. And who would like him? Why would we do this? Eastwood's reaction was really interesting. He said, you know, I've always loved that Japanese film by Akira Kurosawa called Yojimbo. And, and this is kind of like that. The nasty part came when the film came out and Akira Kurosawa saw it. And he went, wait a minute. Uh, and he calls Leone up and he says, it's a really good movie, Fistful of Dollars, but it's my movie. And he took him to court. Uh, and there was a big lawsuit going on between the Italian producers and Kurosawa. And the settlement they made was kind of interesting. They decided that Kurosawa's company could have the, the Japanese rights to the film, and they could release it and make all the money there. And number two, they had to retitle the movie The Return of Yojimbo. Eastwood, now in Hollywood, he's going to Spain to shoot this, he goes and he, he finds the, the blue jeans in, in a Hollywood store and, and he finds the hat somewhere in Santa Monica and, and steals one of the guns from the prop house on, the, on Rawhide. Uh, so now we have this story that, uh, of, of a man riding into town and setting two families, one against the other, uh, fighting each other. You, you can see it. Uh, I think the movie was made for about $600,000, and in this country, it made $14 million, which was, forgive me for this, a fistful of dollars for that time. That was John Landis told me to say that. <laughs>